Oh, hi. Good to see you. Um, in this video, we're looking at exercise 8-5. So this is dealing with accounts receivable. We're talking about Rowan Company, and let's see what we're told. Rowan Company has an accounts receivable balance of $241,000 at September 30th, 2017. And then we're told the following about what their AR consists of. They have $241,000 owed to them. But it tells us that that is made up of stuff that was sold in September, August, July, and then older. So given that the date is September 30th, 2017, the stuff that was sold in September is still considered current, which is why there's more of it. They just haven't collected it yet. The stuff that goes back to April, May, and June is stuff that's a lot older, and that's what we'd be worried about potentially collecting now, because again, um, April was a long time ago. If we're all the way into September, how likely really are we to collect some of the stuff that has been outstanding now since April? Our credit terms are 210 net 30. And just to remind you guys, what that's saying is that we get a 2% discount, or our customers would get a 2% discount. This means you get a 2% discount if you're a customer. If you pay within 10 days... Otherwise, you've got to pay your balance due in 30 days. So basically, and let me say this again, all of these people here haven't paid within 30 days and they're late. So then we have to ask the question, are we likely to collect that money? The company uses an aging schedule to estimate uncollectible accounts and the company's percentage estimates of bad debts are as follows. Now, just to be clear, these are industry specific. These are company specific. You won't always know how likely or how unlikely you are to collect something. But in this course, you will always be given these percentages. This isn't something you have to infer or assume. These will be given to you in a question that's dealing with an aging like this. So let's take a look here. 0 to 30 days outstanding, and it's 1%. 31 to 60 days, 10%. 61 to 90 days, 25%. And over 90 days, we estimate that 60% will be uncollectible as in, we won't get that money. So out of this $15,300 that we see from April, May, and June, we are very likely to only collect 40% of it. 60% uh, is uncollectible, so 40% would be collectible. What we're asked to do here is to prepare an aging summary to determine the total estimated uncollectible accounts at September 30th, 2017. What is the net realizable value of accounts receivable on the same date? And then prepare the appropriate adjusting entry at September 30th to record bad debt expense. Now before we even do that, let me just remind you guys that our allowance for doubtful accounts will have an opening balance in it. And we can see that that opening balance is a $1,400 debit balance. So $1,400 is sitting here on the debit side. What that tells me is that previously when they made their estimate for the allowance for doubtful accounts, they didn't allow enough because it would have started on this side. Then every time they had write-offs, they would have debited this side and their debits in this case were more than the credit that they had initially set up, which is why this balance is now in the debit position of $1,400. Once we make our aging, what we're going to end up with is a balance that we need down over here in our allowance for doubtful accounts. And we will then work backwards to say, how do you get from $1,400 on the debit side to whatever this number happens to be on the credit side? To do that, we're going to have to credit the allowance for doubtful accounts. And we can't just credit something without debiting something. The account we're going to use for, for debiting is called, you got it, the bad debt expense. All right. So let's take a look now and see how we are going to go through and deal with this question. Those items that were sold in September are from 0 to 30 days old. So that was $170,000 times 1% and that gives you $1,700. The ones that are 31 to 60 days old amounted to $35,700 times 10% gives you $3,570 that's uncollectible. 20,000 times 25% gives you 5,000 uncollectible. 15,300 times 60% gives you $9,180 uncollectible. So now we add up all four of these numbers, giving us $19,450. Our total accounts receivable, when we added it up, 
added to $241,000. And you can get that number just by adding up 170000 35700 20000 and 15300 dollars So we are owed $241,000. I mean, we might collect it all. If things worked perfectly in our favor, maybe all of our customers pay us what they owe and we collect all $241,000. What we're saying here is that there is a good chance that we don't get all of that back, so we have an allowance for doubtful accounts that needs to be $19,450, and consequently our net realizable value will be $221,550. So the question is how much do we need now in our allowance for doubtful accounts, and that answer is $19,450. How do we get there if we're starting with a $1,400 debit balance? Well we need to go from $1,400 to zero and then from zero all the way to a credit balance of 19,450. So the amount of bad debt we're going to need or the bad debt expense we're going to need is $20,850. And that's it for this question. Thanks for watching.